Here I am showing up to work to satisfy my Fatty Friday needs with some ice cream. Oh wait, today's Wednesday. I don't care. Still getting ice cream. Okay, so <clears throat> here I am once again trying to jumpstart my bike because my lights killed the battery. Don't ask me why. See? Oh my god. This is so annoying. I have no idea. Back up. Oh, I have a good idea. HID kits. Yes. HID kits. That's what we're going to talk about tonight. And it is a perfect time because guess what? I've got my HIDs on and it's nighttime. So you guys can actually see what they look like. Keep in mind that when you watch this, it's not going to look the same on the video slash camera as it does in real life. It does look a little different, believe it or not. So, so I'm running the 55 watt uh, DDM tuning HID kits. And uh, one side is low, as you can see. Why I flip on my brights, the other side is bright. For the third eye in the center, I just have a LED, a 5K LED or something. But yeah, my lights are 6K though. So 55 watt, 6K, and I'm gonna talk about some of the issues I've had, because I've had quite a few, but it's most, mostly related to my bike and not their kit. Their kit's really good and it's dirt cheap. It's like 50 bucks for both. So um, some issues I had were, if you guys don't remember, the, uh, or I don't even know if I told you guys. Anyway, um, my high beam kit kept blowing. Like I would turn it on, you know, after having my lows on, I would flip onto the high and let it warm up because HIDs take like, I don't know, 40 seconds depending on the brand to warm up. So I was letting it warm up, being chill and stuff. And then, you know, sometimes, I think it was mostly when my fans would kick on, not only would the light turn off on the brights, but also it would, um, it would kill the light sometimes. It would just be dead. And then when I try and turn it on, it wouldn't turn on. And so I was like, what the heck, dude? And so after going through about After going through about five kits, or five of the hybrids, I ended up getting a new battery, which fixed the issue temporarily. And uh, it made it so basically it had a more steady and higher uh, voltage. And um, so that fixed it temporarily, but then my stator went out. And so that gave me more issues with HIDs. <clears throat> and when I got, when I replaced the stator, it was doing great. I was able to start my highs on idle and stuff. Whereas before I had to wait till I was riding or else it would turn off. So crucial components to having your HIDs work is having a good battery and a good stator. Make sure those things can actually supply the current it needs or else it's not going to work right. Because it wants, I believe the max draw on warm up is 6 amps. And then they, uh, once they're warm, they idle at, uh, let's see, it's like 4.3 amps or something like that, the 55 watt kit. And then standard 55 watt halogens are like 4.6 or 4.7 amps. So actually once they're warm, they draw less current. Another necessity, depending on your bike slash car, is you need to get a wiring harness. DDM tuning sells one if you get them off DDM tuning and I'll have a link in the description for you guys. But um, a wiring harness basically makes it so that your lights don't have to receive their power through the, um, through the stock wiring harness because then it's going to have to power your tail light your blinkers you know dash and stuff and all that stuff and uh, along with your lights so that makes it so the current isn't as clean or your wiring harness can't handle that much current which will cause issues with your hid kit so for that reason they sell a wiring harness which you can get and uh here we'll turn on the brights now they have a wiring harness that you can get and that 
basically routes your headlights directly to your battery and it's a very beefy wiring harness you don't want to get the cheap ones off ebay because uh, they won't work but yeah it's like five bucks or ten bucks or something ddm tunings wiring harness and like i said it runs the lights directly to the battery and uh, gives them clean current and the wiring harness can obviously handle the current it's recommended for all 55 watt kits but not necessary for the 35 watt kit you really don't have to have it for either kit but it is recommended for sure for 55 watt kit general rule of thumb is if you start having issues throw on a wire har wiring harness and that should fix it usually and uh, common symptoms of not having a wiring harness are flickering lights like your lights flickering or the left one not starting up or the right one does stuff like that you know just issues things that bug you and don't things don't work right so um so yeah i i mean if if you're in a car especially it's easy to install a wiring harness on a bike it's a little bit more difficult so you can kind of wait to see if it's going to work right like mine work fine as long as i start on low first and then switch to high it works great so i don't have any issues but um yeah this is what the high beam on you can see a lot more i've got a smoked visor and i can see everything it's really really good but it's very blinding cars will flash me like crazy if i leave it on so i turn it off uh yeah and the 55 watt kit puts out a lot of it's very bright very bright so it's actually supposed to be 40 percent brighter than the 35 watt version also what you have to consider too is the closer you are on the spectrum to um to pure white light the brighter the light's gonna be which i think that's like 5,000 kelvin whereas if you go up to 12,000 kelvin your lights are purple and you're not gonna be able to see as much so that's just something to consider the the closer your light is to 5,000 kelvin or 4,500 or whatever it is the more luminosity you're gonna get the more light the brighter it's gonna be so uh and I got 6K because the 55 watt kit actually drains out your lights a little bit. So the 55 watt 6K looks a little bit more like a 35 watt 5K. 35 watt kit 6 or 8K is going to be more blue, especially 8K. 8K has got a lot of blue in it. So, and 8Ks look good. They're just not as much of pure white light. It's not as clean looking, I guess you could say. So a little bit later on, once again, on an abandoned road, I'll flick the, flick them on and get off the bike and show you guys what they really look like something else i've noticed a little bit with hid kits is that depending on the brand you get like you can spend 300 500 on hid kits if you want i don't know how much better they're going to be but um i believe it reduces the warm-up time and also it gives it a less uh more pure look my i think my lights are slightly green almost like if you look at them it's like they're blue but on the camera through my tinted visor they look almost slightly green now that could be for all kits but i just know that some lights i've seen look just perfect amazing but you know what i mean that's 40 bucks versus 350 dollars i don't know but uh either way it's a great kit oh yeah another common question people have is is a 55 watt kit gonna burn my uh, or melt my stock headlight housing chances are most likely not i mean i've never had an issue with that i don't know anybody that has as long as you clean off the uh, bulbs uh with rubbing alcohol to get all the oil off from your hands and stuff they're not going to be as hot and they're run a little bit cooler and i don't think you'll have a problem with it i never have i don't know anybody that has so that's not something i'd worry about and uh and also whether you're going to blind people with the 35 versus 55 watt kit you can go with 55 watt just don't ride your brights if you don't want to blind people i mean other than that i think you're good and as long as your lights aren't pointing super high up granted it isn't a reflective housing so it kind of scatters the light more but you know what i mean it's either that or you buy a projector kit and take out all your stock stuff and that costs a lot of money so oh my god it's cold uh Ah, uh, 57 degrees, freezing nuts. Meanwhile, in Canada, 20 degrees outside or less. Uh, 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 if you guys have not already done so, you need to get a freeze out. I'm telling you, these things are lifesavers. I'm freezing my butt off. 
but because of my freeze out, which is completely wind proof, I believe, or wind resistant, blocks out most of the wind. Yay! I've had like two cops pull me over on this road. So <laughs> I'm gonna go slow because there's a guy behind me and both the cops are behind me at night. So let's not do this again. Keep it at the speed limit. Cause I'm a good boy. Okay. So here we are with the low beam. You can see my third eye is a slightly different color because it's LED. HIDs are always gonna look different than LEDs for some reason. And uh, all right, and then brights. Give it a second to warm up. <laughs> you can see the mist, it's cool looking. So that's what they look like, ridiculously bright. Oh my God. So brights on. See how much more you can see? Get that car away so we can actually see it. So brights off. You can see so much, you know, this whole area, and then wha-bam! 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 So you kind of see more over here, and, a, and it just casts it out further. It's a higher, uh, and you can see even move. The high beam casts the light higher up, so. It'll blind people more. I wouldn't recommend using it at night. Just stick to low beams unless you really want to blind people. So yeah, that's what they look like. So if you guys got any questions, have any problems with your HID kits, I've studied it a little bit because like I said, I had a bunch of questions and it wasn't working right. So if you do have that, just uh, shoot me a message or comment in this video and I will reply because I always do. And uh, yep, that's it. Rate, comment, subscribe. And, and very, yeah, do subscribe. Really, you should because I'm coming out with great videos. I've been working on a lot of stuff, trying to do good things for you guys, make some awesome stuff that entertains you and is really freaking sweet. This guy, not, oh, he's turning left, good. So, alrighty, that's it, guys. Have a nice night. Enjoy installing your HID kits. Hopefully, you don't run into any issues. If you do, wiring harness that stuff. And uh, yeah, have a nice day.